Hello everyone and welcome to video 2 in the series of how to electroplate yourself. You'll remember in that first video I was explaining how ordinary kitchen and household ingredients can be used with a cell phone charger to zinc plate any metal items that you want to rust protect. In that first video I explained that pre-cleaning and acid etching were vitally important to uh, create a good finished product. The first thing to do was to create an electrolyte. That's what I'm doing here. Charging the vinegar to turn it into an electrolyte. Once we've done that, we can start plating. Which brings us to video two. As you can see, I'm pushing this to its limits. I've experimented with cell phone chargers, laptop chargers, drill chargers. Now I'm onto a 12 volt 6 watt, sorry, 12 volt 6 amp battery charger, which means that um, I can dunk massive amounts of parts in here at once and achieve a good thick coating. It's not pretty. Here's stuff in the acid just pickling. The black specks are pieces of black paint that have floated off with the rust as the rust has been taken off. They're my next batch. I'll get those washed as soon as this first batch is out. Try as I might, I have not been able to achieve a gloss shiny finish. But I am getting a good, heavy, durable rust proof coating and for a Land Rover that's what I'm looking for. The battery charger is allowing me to do large parts like this. By having an electrode on each side that means you get better coverage. Um, I'm sticking my nuts on the line a little bit by trying to take on such big items as this with such a complex shape. But with two electrodes and plenty of volts, it's doable. Now I want you to remember what I said in the first video. I've never electroplated anything before in my life. I went to the University of YouTube for a couple of nights in a row and watched nothing but DIY electroplating videos. So here's the assortment of things that I've electroplated today. Big things, small things, they've all come out the same. I'm having problems getting this gloss finish. You'll see that the finish is just a little bit patchy on some of these parts. Um, I think that's down to cleanliness and not preparing them properly. Yeah, I have been a little bit cavalier about it all. A little bit ADHD, I know, but it has meant that I've crammed a lot of learning into a short space of time. One thing that didn't work was putting sugar in the electrolyte to create the gloss. That was something that another YouTuber suggested and I put in two doses of sugar. First one cup, then I added another cup. Didn't work at all. I'm going to do an experiment with my wheel nuts. They're old, crusty and they've had a hell of a life. But I've cleaned them up, acid etched them, electroplated them and I'm not going to wash them, polish them, or anything for at least the next year. I'm going to drive around with my nuts exposed to salt, road grime, and whatever the road throws at them. They're looking good now. I've copper coated the inside of the thread. If you look closely, you'll see that the thread started to rust while they've been sitting around for the last few days because the zinc plating doesn't go round corners. You can't seem to zinc plate the inside of things. So as I say, tidy new wheels, shiny new nuts, they're going to go on here and I'm going to drive around and hit the beaches, hit the mud, and then just leave them to see how long this zinc coating lasts when it's out there 24-7, 365 days a year. So, my conclusions are things you won't find in other 
DIY electroplating videos. Um, I can't get the silver shiny finish straight out of the solution, try as I might, but you can polish uh, a shine into it, although it's quite labour intensive. By whacking up the voltage in the amperage with a 12 volt 6 amp battery charger, I was able to electroplate large items, complex shapes. An electrode on each side really makes a difference. How durable is the coating? Well, only time will tell. I'll let you know in a year. Like a Land Rover. It's certainly not decorative, but it is functional. Hey, Tiny House and Off-Grid Resources isn't just a Landy channel. Subscribe and have a snoop around. In here you'll find videos on collecting rainwater. Tips and tricks for working in the garden. Becoming responsible for your own poos. Building, repairing, reusing, recycling. And goats!